I'm Tom Varner, and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, I've come to Ted Drew's on Route 66 in St. Louis, Missouri. We're on the corner of Chippewa and Prather on old Route 66 here in St. Louis, Missouri. Look at that classic neon sign. Ted Drew's Frozen Custard. Ted Drew's has been a St. Louis tradition for over 90 years. And this is a 66 roadside attraction. Ted Drew's Frozen Custard, St. Louis, Missouri. Ted Drew's Frozen Custard has been located on Route 60 since 1941 and has been a St. Louis landmark since 1929. Many travelers have stopped to enjoy the world famous concretes. This is their menu board. I think I'm going to... I'm not for sure what I'm going to get yet. A sender mint, maybe. This, this shows you the different sizes. We have a micro, mini, regular, large, kitty, small, jumbo, and super for Sundays. And this is what I got. The cinder mint concrete. It's so thick you can turn it upside down. Just uh, your regular size. Alright, I'm gonna try my first bites of this Ted Drew's cinder mint concrete. Good. It's like a peppermint flavored. Now there are actually only two Ted Drew's locations. Um, there's the original one here. Well, actually, I don't know if it's the original, but it moved here, the Chippewa. And then there is a because it moved here to get on Route 66. And there is another location here in St. Louis. Now the only other place you can get Ted Drew's frozen custard, concretes, they have a few machines in the St. Louis airport. So if you're passing through Lambert Airport in St. Louis, you might see them there. But they're, you know, it's just chocolate, vanilla, and I believe a swirl is all you can get there. Years ago, Ted, Ted Drews was approached, you know, the franchise's operation, and he did not want to do that. He wanted to keep it local, small business. Now, normally, there's a huge line of people. There's about a half hour to almost a 45 minute wait or longer, especially late afternoons and evenings. Um, but I got here just shortly after they opened this morning. It's a little after 11, so there's not much of a line right now. Now, Ted Drew's is a seasonal business. I believe they're only open for custard from like end of March, first part of April, through the end of like October, maybe first part of November. They do sell Christmas trees. They have a huge Christmas tree lot that they sell during Christmas time. 
but there are a few months of the year they are not open. Now in a building on the parking lot right next to Ted Drew's is the Ted Drew's gift shop. So we're just going to go in. Alright, got some uh, Ted Drew's magnets and keychains and sunglasses here, as well as some Ted Drew's bumper stickers, some hats, St. Louis stickers, magnets and hats and badges. There we have some Ted Drew's golf shirts. There's some Ted Drew's little bears. And here's some Ted Drew's plush dog toys. Little Ted Drew's cup for your dog. Alright, here's some various Ted Drew's t-shirts. Now enter the part of the store that is the small Ted Drew's Museum. Here are some old Ted Drew's crew shirts, I believe. This display just has some various other Ted Drew's artifacts. This is an award that Ted Drew's won for best ice cream shop in the world. Here we have a photographic timeline on the wall from when Ted Drew's opened in 1929 through the years. All kinds of different and various photographs here. There's Katy Perry enjoying some Ted Drews. And there's one of St. Louis's favorite sons, John Goodman, having some Ted Drews too. Here's a little Ted Drews birdhouse, little cardinal there. These items are all personal items that belong to Ted Drew himself. Here's an original scale and mixing machine from when Ted Drews first opened. I did purchase a magnet and a keychain. Well, that has been our visit to Ted Drews Frozen Custard here in St. Louis, Missouri on Route 66. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've liked this video, Hit the like button if you disliked. Hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit or you have a suggestion about a future video you would like to see, leave a comment in the comment section. And you can support Adventures in TV Land by going to buy me a coffee and just you can make for just a one-time donation if you like or become a monthly member and to support the Adventures in TV land. Until next time, that's a wrap.